songs about Santa Claus. Frosty has one. So does Rudolph. Probably won't be long before you're singing along to Toasty. That's Toasty. is the new kid on the block. He's a magic fireplace. It all started from a little girl at Friendly's in Rochester, New Hampshire, who I don't even know her name. David Justin overheard that little girl at a nearby table, upset her new home didn't have a fireplace. She was just crying her face up at the table, mad at her dad that Santa couldn't get into her house to bring her her presents. David, a serial entrepreneur, had his next big idea. Listen up, don't worry. When Santa comes to town, if you don't have a chimney, he can bring your presents down. The first time author brought Toasty to life, first as a character and then as a storybook. Whether you live in an apartment building, uh, in a condo, in a house that doesn't have a fireplace, if you live in a mobile home, if you're stuck in a hospital, wherever you are, you know, Toasty is a magical fireplace that, you know, he grows the golden, glowing golden chimney on Christmas Eve when the kids are sleeping. He pitched Toasty to investors who never warmed to the idea. Everybody was like, no, stick with your job. So he and his fiance, Lindsay Plored, forged ahead on their own, working two and three jobs to pay for prototypes, patents, and trademarks. DJ is the visionary and I'm more the voice of reason behind things. The book is filled with personal touches. The entire setting takes place right here in this house. This is my grandparents' house and um, this is where I spent the majority of my life. So this is actually my bedroom. This is my son's bedroom. This is the bathroom. His son Jordan, the main character. I'm right there sleeping on the rug. This illustration taken directly from Jordan's bedroom. When he's glowing bright Christmas Eve night, you know everything's okay. Yeah, that's toasty. The book comes with a life-size fireplace. David using the same business model as the wildly popular Elf on the Shelf. 11 million copies of that book have been sold. Now a Christmas tradition. What they did, you know, is kind of ingenious. They created a concept with a product and then they wrote the book to explain the product. And it's the same thing that I did here. The Magic Fireplace is sold online and in local stores. A soft launch before David plans to go national next Christmas. Big retail names already showing interest. And David hopes to give back. He says 10% of the profits for the life of the book will go to cancer research. David lost his uncle and his father to the disease. And now in their names, he can spread a little hope and Christmas cheer. We do believe that this is going to, you know, be something, uh, a Christmas staple from here on out. the cat is the star of her own children's book, A Cat's Christmas Tale. She has free reign at the Christmas Dove in Barrington, a regular at Karen Holman's art classes in the back of the 16,000 square foot store. I'd stop by the back door and I'd hear her little bell and she'd come jingling down the driveway and come in and she was the greeting committee for the classes. Watching every stroke of the paintbrush, even eager to try it herself. The canvases would be set up, she'll run right down the middle of the table and just, she looks for the water cup, so she drinks out of the water and she's just all over the place. Karen, a children's book illustrator, came up with the idea for a cat's Christmas tale during her nightly ritual at the store. I have to close up at night and it's kind of creepy and I have a wild imagination because I'm an artist. So this store is 16,000 square feet of all kinds of moving things in my mind. So I have all the lights off and I have to go through the store with my little cell phone um, flashlight with my wild imagination. I thought, oh, we just need to do a story about this and the cat. She teamed up with author Peter Aronstam, spending 300 hours illustrating the book, meticulously capturing Portland, the big fluff ball. She's so beautiful. I worked in three different mediums and had to do her in oil because oil 
with oil paint you can get the richness that you want and she's so soft and beautiful. The story takes place inside the Christmas dove. I tried to base everything off the store. Well, the first page has the, the tree that's in the front of the store and the full-size nutcracker. Portland wanders the elaborate rooms and displays, but all the little creatures, the nutcracker, the red reindeer, ignore her until she runs away. The characters use their night magic to bring her back. It's just really sweet and it's a beautiful story and it's just about kindness and, and I think it's a great thing for kids to learn, you know, to think, think about everybody and to not ignore someone. Portland taking her newfound fame in stride, holding court and on this day managing to keep the paint from changing her look. She does get it in her tail and there's nothing you can do, you just, she's a cat. <laughs>